Welcome back you guys. Today we are going to talk about one of the most asked about and one of the most important backcountry rider fundamentals and that is mastering the brake. Let's get into it. First ride of the year Clark and I already got stuck. It's just awesome. It's now you know it's going to be good. <laughs> So hopefully that makes the blooper reel right over there. Anyway, you guys, mastering the brake. So time and time again, I'm getting asking either asked through the channel, um, and we appreciate those comments, guys. Um, we're always looking for new ideas, and one of those ideas that just continually keeps popping up, whether it's on my social media or through the channel, is will you do a video talking about when and why you use the brake? A year ago, you guys remember we did a video, we talked about blipping the throttle, the art of kind of mastering the blip of the throttle, which blipping the throttle, I mean, it goes hand in hand with remembering to use the brake. And you guys can see here, I've got this ZRP sort of one finger brake, the new Polaris brake for the Matrix, that new Hayes brake. Really cool, really nice bend um, in terms of being able to get the brake set up just perfect for you. So remember to make those adjustments and we've had videos Glore about making adjustments to our handlebars so that I can get that one finger on the brake right there when I need it. And so I will ride time and time again. You guys will see video photos of nearly all of us that are out there. Once you have understood the idea that I don't want to wait and be in a position like this and then at that nanosecond when I need brake have to get out here and do this. So I'm going to ride with one finger, whether it's my middle finger. Brant's going to do this to you all the time because he's a middle finger guy. And there are people that will use the index and the middle finger. And you know what? There are situations where I'll be an index finger guy. And then for whatever reason, right side, downhill, super steep terrain, I will oftentimes go to that middle finger. And I don't know if that's just a little bit extra hang on to the handlebar or what it is. But primarily, I am index finger with my finger out there resting on the brake so that I can apply brake as needed. All right, so when do we use the brake? We use the brake, uh, and this is great that we're gonna be able to get this sort of myth out there. There are a lot of people that are, I'll see them in my classes, they're riding along and I can see them applying throttle. So they're rap, 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 they're going across the hillside and I can see their brake light flashing. So they're using the brake at the exact same time they're using throttle and we need to remember that that is pretty dang counterintuitive. We're not, we're not doing that, we are within nanoseconds of one another using gas blipping throttle and then boom either burning brake or completely applying brake to do a number of different things so we'll showcase some examples of when why and where i would use the brake but coming into a, a spot where i want to stop you're in deep snow are there tons of situations out there where the snow itself in and around the front end of the sled locked into the a-arms and those things can act as a brake and the answer is certainly but as a practice, for those of you that are wondering why we use the brake so much, practice never allowing my snowmobile to coast to a stop. So for a, a day, go out there and just say, every time I'm letting off the throttle and I wanna slow my machine down, I'm gonna use the brake. I'm not gonna wait for it to slow itself down. I'm gonna apply brake. And that starts sort of training that muscle memory that we can use these brakes to stop the sled. Once we start doing that, you're gonna remember all those situations when you were side hilling along and all of a sudden you got out of whack and a lot of people try to rescue some sort of out of whack position or even a bad uh, side hill position by giving it more throttle. When we need to kind of think in opposites in a lot of those spots, if I'm out of whack in a certain spot, applying brake can bring me back into the right position versus giving it throttle and being in an even worse situation. So there are plenty of situations when we have to use a ton of throttle to either well, get across a steep side hill in deep snow. Uh, we're nearly stuck and we're in that pin and wiggle situation. So we are really giving that snowmobile a lot of gas. We don't have any momentum yet. And that's what we're searching for is we're just down there and that track is just trying to find traction. And when it does, and it finally pops out and we gain traction, we start to move right then and there in terms of our control would be a great opportunity to apply brake. So we're using a ton of energy and we're almost out and we're kind of gassed, right? We're already, we've been using a bunch, a bunch of energy and all of a sudden that thing just pops out. And time and time again, I watch people as it pops out, they just try to keep going and they're already breathing hard. They're not thinking straight. Maybe their body position is off. What an awesome opportunity to apply brake 
get yourself back into that proper riding position and then go again. So using the brake guys is as useful in all of those situations as using the throttle. Perfect time of when I'm gonna use my brakes. So I'm gonna come down this, on my brakes, I'm gonna set my sled so I'm right there using the brake, back on the brake right here. And now let's pretend that I can't go that way and now I've gotta go left. I'm on my brake still, a little bit of move here, step to this opposite foot forward side, stepping down. On my brake again. On my brake again. Just making my way down on that downhill track. Giving it gas, then giving it brake. So now I'm down, I've just made a pretty hard turn in deep snow. I've still got my finger on the brake. Now I can lots of speed off the brake and make my way into a different direction. Here we go. All right, guys. Well, that is a wrap. Remember that we use the brake in all kinds of different situations. So I've just pointed out a few of them. There have been a lot of questions about using the brake, especially with a boosted sled. We need to remember that we can use the brake almost like we're letting out of the clutch with a boosted sled, meaning that a lot of times we are waiting on that sled to build RPM and you just wanna feel that sled ready to go. And in that time slot, can I be kind of burning the brake? And the answer would be certainly. And that would be one tech tip that I would give to somebody operating a turboed sled. If you're clutched properly, most of the time you shouldn't have to do that, but there are certain situations where we are kind of burning the brake bringing that throttle right up to RPM right before that belt is going to grab those clutches, letting out of the brake and boom, we go. But all other times, guys, we're just using that brake to maintain proper body position and maintain control of the sled. So using the brake, not unlike all of the fundamentals, all of the techniques that we're trying to teach you here, we don't want any bad days. And so we are trying you guys as best we can with the videos to show you guys all of these fundamentals, all of the tips and tricks that have taken me years of practice, years of time doing it incorrectly for me to finally figure out how to do it right. Hopefully you guys like this video. Give it the thumbs up. Remember to subscribe and we'll see you next time.